Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. This is a this is a very exciting day. Um, we're we're here to break ground. Um, although it, it, you, I, I'm sure that's that's kind of silly, but because um, it is very ceremonial when you look at the site behind me. Um, but without further ado, I want to thank you all for coming out today. This is a really special day um, as it marks another benchmark in progress for the historic Northwest. Um, and uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, the mayor of the city of West Palm Beach and the head of the CRA, the chairman of the West Palm Beach Community Redevelopment Agency, Mayor Keith James. Mayor. Thank you, Chris. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome and thank you all for joining us. As Chris says on this very special occasion, uh, I'm truly honored to stand before you today as we mark a significant milestone in the ongoing efforts of our city and the Community Redevelopment Agency to preserve the heritage of West Palm's historic Northwest. And uh, as mayor of this city, it gives me great pleasure to announce the commencement of an exciting historic preservation project located right here at 719 North South Padilla. This project stands as a testament to our unwavering commitment to revitalizing and preserving the cultural fabric of this community. So today we gather to celebrate the groundbreaking, which signifies the beginning of a journey toward the establishment of a brand new restaurant. This will be a culinary hub that will not only, okay, not only nourish our bodies, but also serve as a beacon of our heritage. Uh, your presence here today is a testament to your dedication to the prosperity and cultural preservation of our beloved city. As you all know, my vision for West Palm Beach is to make it a community of opportunity for all, and this is a step on that journey. Together, we embark on this journey with enthusiasm, knowing that our collective efforts will leave a lasting legacy for generations to come. Let us move forward with determination and optimism as we continue to shape the future of West Palm Beach and the direction and look of the historic Northwest. I look forward to the grand opening in 2025, well before I leave office, right? Absolutely. Okay, all right, all right, thank you. And before I sit down, let me acknowledge the Commission President, Kathleen Board. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Yes. And thank you for all you do, Madam President. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Mayor. Um, so just uh, in, 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 uh, in summary of the project behind me, the, the project manager who's been working on this, she's, she's continuing to do work in this community, which is uh, senior project manager Gina, Gina Baker. Um, so I just want to tell you a little bit about the details behind us. Um, as the mayor mentioned, um, this is a historic preservation project. And the, one of the major goals of, uh, that has been set by the CRA board is the preservation of the historic fabric of this community. And we know unequivocally that the data is solid behind the economic development efforts when you save historic structures like the ones behind us. It benefits job creation, it maintains character, it promotes investment in the historic Northwest. And so we're very excited with this project behind us that will ultimately be, and I'm gonna get the square footage right, but I know it's at least 1,200 square feet. Zamar? 2,600. 2,600 square feet. See, I, I, I messed up. See, that was my second guess. That was my second guess. But, um, you know, we couldn't make this project happen um, without um, a really great team. And I'm, uh, I'm very optimistic and I'm very proud of the team that we put together behind this project. Um, starting with the designer who's been very patient, and I can't thank him enough, um, Zamar Brown. Um, with Design to Form um, is the architect on this project. Zamar, just go ahead and raise your hand real quick. And then, I'm gonna ask you to come up there. And then also, um, it, it takes, uh, it takes a, a, a Cracker Jack team to really put that together, and that's Waypoint Construction to make it a reality. So Waypoint, George, thank you so much, because we're very excited to have these two. And um, I, I'd be remiss to say that um, it couldn't be done also without the CRA staff. So I want to thank my CRA staff, Ansley, Dale, the construction manager who's been out here. Um, thank you all so much um, for all of your help with this. So um, with that, um, I'm going to ask Zamar to come up and just briefly talk about, um, make a few comments about this project because it has been um, in waiting in the wings for some time now. And we're very excited. So Zamar, you want to come up and talk a little bit 
about your efforts on this project. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, next time, please do not put me after such gracious uh, speakers. Please, please let, me, let me go before them and then they can come after me. But good morning. Zamar Brown, owner and principal architect of Design to Form. And for me and my team at Design to Form, we are ecstatic and also proud to be part of this particular project. As they mentioned, it is a historic preservation project, but it is also an adaptive reuse. So when we initially started this project seven years ago, on the ground floor, it was a church or an abandoned church, and also on the second floor was a rooming house. So when we're finished with it, it will be a 2,600 square foot restaurant with a loft space upstairs, a full kitchen, and also a 1,100 square foot patio, which will all together seat a 150 seat restaurant and bar. So again, this project has had its challenges. It is basically, we've had to permit it twice because of the building code change. We've also had to deal with um, the deterioration of the structure. We've also had the opportunity of going through COVID through this particular project. And last but not least, we also had to deal with inflation after COVID. So to that particular and those particular challenges, this is an attestment to the CRA and the, um, and, the, and the commission to basically really bring this particular project to fruition. And I really want to thank them for this opportunity. I also want to applaud them for their efforts because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, this particular project took a lot of man hours, a lot of elbow grease, and a lot of tenacity. And I truly thank them for that opportunity. And I also would not be remiss if I do not thank my staff, Yvonne Sanchez and also uh, Maurice Walden, who's also been here every step of the way to get us to this particular point. And again, thank you to everyone. Thank you, Zvar. So now um, I'd like to introduce uh, George Lopez uh, with Waypoint Construction to talk about how we're going to make this uh, this project a reality with uh, with the gentleness of making sure that we keep the historic nature of the building. George. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is George Lopez. I'm the president of Waypoint Contracting. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you to the city for allowing us the opportunity to preserve this very important uh, piece of history for you guys. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to acknowledge the team that is going to do this and make sure that this project uh, gets off on the right foot, finishes on time and on budget for you guys. So back there we got Caesar, our senior superintendent. You see our project manager. Ray, our superintendent, and where's Nicole? Nicole, our assistant project manager. So thank you, everybody, and I look forward to having a ribbon cutting with you guys here very soon. Okay, without further ado, um, we are going to turn some dirt. So, um, <laughs> Mayor um, and uh, George Zamir and Commissioner Ward, if we could meet over here by the shovels. Um, we're going to start taking some photos, and then we'll do the ceremonial groundbreaking. Thank you. Thanks, thanks everybody, for coming out.